Today, more from the property market frontline. How should people think about auctions? Hello again, I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Welcome to our latest post covering finance and property news with a distinctively Australian flavour. And today, I'm joined again by our property insider, Edwin Almeida. Hello, Edwin. Good to see you again. Good to see you too, Martin. The topic, which I think we should explore, is auctions, right? Because, because there's something weird going on. I mean, uh, you know, the clearance rates this last weekend were as low as we've seen them for a a long time and if you look at the trends they've been going lower and lower and lower and I guess there's two questions the first question is well is it that, that there are just less transactions going on or are there now less auctions but more private sales or is something else going on what, what's your view of what's happening in the auctions and you know how should people think about the auction sex, sector of the market the as I said to you, look, we'll take it one one point at a time. Yeah. From about five seven years ago, we got a major push for my industry to to convince people to go to auction, saying that that was the best way to take the uh, to take your property market. You're going to achieve the best result. And you said last time, I think one of the reasons there was they actually got more money for it, right? Of course. Yeah. So more money. The same article uh, that came out today about uh, uh, about how wonderful and, and properties were going to increase in value by five percent in the in the western suburbs because of these three new beaches along Parramatta River. In that same article, the same individual says that you know when they do build these beaches in the Parramatta River, the property is going to increase in value by about five percent, and and so and going to increase in value by five percent. And the best way to sell your property is by auction. Right. I mean, it just, to me, just didn't make sense. As I said to you, the, the, um, there's the, the, allegedly there's the, 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 ca- the auction campaign attracts more people than a private treaty campaign. I beg to differ on that. You know, it's the same portal, the same newspaper, uh, other than getting entertained on the day of the so-called auction, if pe- that's if people turn up, how is it any better? Mm. Um, it's just a, 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 a small group in our industry that that's how they make their money. And if you really want to drill down on that, Martin, if you really want to drill down that, in the good times... The auction is we're boasting on social media in all the posts, you know, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all this. Well, wow, look at me. Uh, yeah, we did. I did eight, conducted 10, 12 auctions. I actually did an article and did it because I surveyed some some uh, uh, auctioneers mm. um, and companies as to asking them how many auctions they performed on the Saturday and and what the averages were, and they were very interesting. So I'm thinking. For an individual to go to to conduct an auction on a Saturday, uh, in some cases, some were doing 14 auctions on a Saturday, navigating through traffic on a Saturday, how much attention is the auctioneer going to really place on your property? As far as I'm concerned, 90% of his or her mind is thinking, how the hell am I going to get from from here to my next auction in 15 minutes. Yep. Another thing about how to extract the most for your property, not all, but most of the auctioneers, right? The other question that I asked there was, in, in, how many of the auctioneers that I interviewed, how many actually visited the property that was going to be sold prior to the day of the auction? Right. One in 10. So as far as I'm concerned, that's the only individual that you would employ. The other, you, you, you wouldn't even touch with a 10-foot pole. Right. So they just turn up on the day, run the auction, and then run off again. Exactly. Yeah. So the real estate agent is giving carriage of the sale 
to the auctioneer because he's a licensed real estate agent yep. for that half hour period without them knowing all the intricacies about the property. I mean, that, so hence the reason why I, was, um, I said that, you know, I, I question auctions. So now I think people are waking up to, to that. Mm. I think people are waking up to the fact that, hold on a minute, the marketing campaign, what you're actually giving me, you know, all these extra expenses, it, but the marketing campaign is, is identical to the private treaty campaign. So that hopefully that sorts that that scenario. Mm. The other uh, part of the auction uh, scenario is the fact that you're saying that the uh, there's less properties going to auction. That's correct. But if you look at the last six seven weeks, the average is about six hundred uh, in Sydney. Yep. Right. But the actual the the sales have been tracking uh, around or just under two hundred. And, and, and dropping, yep. at averaging around, still averaging close to two to two hundred properties, mm. uh, and but most of them are in you know in the North Shore, Eastern Suburbs regions. Um, the West is absolutely smashed. Yep. Uh, the so for one reason or another, they you know in those areas you, you're still getting uh, it's still attracting it, uh, attention. Is it, Still a little bit confidence with with the auction, but nevertheless, the sales in comparison to the previous year dropped by anywhere between forty four and fifty seven percent in terms of numbers actually selling uh, year on year um, and more. So that's that that tells you that the market sentiment has really changed because for the last seven years, uh, the, the mainstream media has been uh, playing the auction. Um, scenarios that plan it up, and, and and that is the that is the, uh, the 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 lifeline of the industry. That is the pulse of the industry, yep. because yeah, because the mainstream me- media just tagged on to the excitement of it. Of course, an auction is exciting when you've got a hundred people there turning up and playing sil- paying silly dollars. Yeah, it's dramatic, isn't it? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Now, now you look at, now you see what's happening now, and it's that same uh, emotion and t- is having a, a negative effect. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what, what what happens. So as I've been saying for the last six, uh, eight weeks, uh, don't pay attention to your so-called auction clearance rates. Mm. Pay attention to the actual numbers being sold at auction. Yep. Now the other trend is the open house numbers. They've been trending upwards from 14,000 to last Saturday. There was over 17,000 open homes. Right. So, yeah, including so, that. So there's more on the market. That's great. Less being sold. The ones that are being sold, the prices are going down, right? And then the, I think the other point you made there was it's not uniform across the city, right? So there are some suburbs and some postcards where things are a little bit more buoyant. There are others where things are less buoyant. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So, in, again, other than the other than the pressure that the agents have placed on the on the vendors that have taken the properties to auction, um, because they've spent this uh, yeah this big chunk of uh, uh, vendor paid advertising or VPA as we call it yeah. uh, for this auction campaign, um, you know the vendors are making a, a, a real choice. Mm. Hold on, I've just spent twenty thousand dollars in marketing. This is what I'm getting offered. Um, you know. And it's often the case that they're, they're, that they're jumping out, they're accepting the, 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 the bids at the auction, they're accepting their last bid at the auction uh, because they, they've made an educated decision in, in, in you know, 50% of the cases. Mm. The other 50%, I think, is, is really um, uh, pressure by the agent. See, 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 this is the market. The mar- see, the auction, tell, the, 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 the auction tells you what the market is dictating. Oh. Oh. So... Th- The other thing I was interesting to look at is the initial listings count of auctions Mm -hmm. versus those that actually go to market. There seems to be a bigger drop now between the original listing and those that actually ever go to market. Well, and and I and I give credit to 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 the agents that do pull the the, those listings out because they've soon realised that hold on a minute. I stuffed up here. 
and they have the conversation with the vendor, look, we're getting nobody to the open house. Right. What's the point of, of going, uh, going all the way? Uh, so they'll, they'll, you know, they'll pull the property off the auction campaign and just go into a private treaty campaign. What's the point of having an auction? And in some cases, in some cases, they, um, at least they save the, the, the auctioneer's fee. Right. You know, if they do it uh, within a certain time. So it's interesting. I, I sort of something that I realize, hadn't realised until you mentioned it. There's clearly a point in the cycle where you decide you want to start the auction process, right? But then there's another point where you actually commit to actually going ahead with that auction, which will be, you know, a few days before the auction date. So the fact that you've got a long, a high level of listings and a much shorter number of listings uh, of auctions to go ahead suggests that there are more people now saying there's no point in going to auction because we're just not getting the interest. That's right. The, right. It, it, the, the interest, Martin, is very, very evident. Yeah. Uh, a colleague of mine in a, in a, in an area that, um, you know, that they did a lot of auctions uh, up in the Central Coast, uh, you know, I was speaking to him and he said we've got, uh, we had 19 opens uh, last week uh, we got 17 people across, not at each, but across the 19, the 19 uh, opens. Yep. And the week before that, uh, they got five groups of people across the 19 opens. So that's given you the, the yeah, that gives you the sentiment of where we're at. Yep. And it's uh, a, yeah, m many factors that, that are contributing to that. So you'd be a silly person, you'd be a silly agent to, to, to take your vendor's property all the way through the auction camp just because you wanted to, you, you wanted to, what, see what happens? Right. What, you're going to get somebody turning up out of the, uh, out of the uh, you may have been able to do that when the market's going north, but when it's going south, they're, they're things that you've really got to, you know, you've really got to, um, uh, consider if you want to do the right job by your by your vendor so the absolute number of auctions cleared is actually a very interesting leading indicator not not the percentage but the actual number right that's correct and, and so as it we continue to see that going down that's really another of those you know canary in the coal line mine indicators of the market in some serious trouble very much so um, and again, and, and it's because the mainstream media started painting that from seven years ago, as I said, mm. and that is the indicator. Yep. So let's continue with this with with this pulse monitor. Yep. And if the pulse monitor is uh, the the auction the auction uh, the auctions overall, well, we're about to go into a uh, we're about to hit a coronary. You know, we're about to go flatline. Yep. Um, uh, so. From last time we spoke, or the first time we spoke, I said that um, I, I discount even 50% of uh, of those because it's not for, uh, but for the um, interesting, uh, as some of my friends call it, the, all the shenanigans that go on in terms of some um, some of the uh, portals uh, counting, uh, you know, uh, previous auctions and all this uh, for whatever. Yeah. It's mm. it's just it, for me uh, the interesting thing has been the numbers the actual the actual numbers of uh, sales of uh, on the day and also the uh, how we've been trending with the with the open house numbers yeah. that's just in the last yeah. two weeks we got an increase of something like a thousand um, new properties are uh, you know, open for inspection. So the simple supply demand logic, you know, lots more people trying to sell, less people trying to buy. No wonder the prices are going where they're going. Yeah, yeah. and I guess that, that would lead us to just uh, briefly talk about the 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 scenario, the real scenario, as I said, with regards to we're finding that a lot of people and a lot of being pressured by the interest only, uh, you know, loans or investors yep. Yep. Uh, are being forced to put the properties on the market. Yep. Um, I called it uh, a few months ago. I said we're going to get a, and I believe the, I believe the the the, the, button, the, the panic button has been pressed um, from from my personal observation. Uh, what I've seen the numbers, how they've been tracking all around, uh, you know, in, in Sydney, and what um, uh, there has been a lot of commentary about. There has been a lot of commentary about people taking the properties off the market because they're not. Then they're not getting the, um, the the values or the right the price that 
the design uh, values or the price for their sure. properties. So that you, yeah, okay, they're the, your home, your, your your own occupiers. But the pressure that's come on the interest only uh, investor in the loan scenario, that's real, uh, and 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 we're going to see more more and more um, uh, of these properties coming on the market, which is going to, of course. Uh, create another uh, increase in properties, and as I said, all we need is another, you know, anywhere between five thousand to seven thousand properties in Sydney to come on the market, and in a lot of areas, we'll just uh, just flatline. <laughs> so, so you remain in barriers territory. I right? remain in realistic territory. Yeah. Okay. From yep. real, from the real data and the, and, and the live data. Unfortunately, uh, you know some of these so-called industry experts that are putting all this information out there. They they, they really need to to be taken to task. Um, uh, uh, Shane Oliver, I like his. I like what what he has to say. I mean, he, he's he's readjusted his uh, um, um, peak to trough. Uh, Figures to to twenty, you know, from uh, five to fifteen to five to twenty percent, yep. and all the pressure that that's going to place, and which then you you know you start talking about negative equity, yep. uh, and what are the banks going to do? Tell you what, the banks are going to do put pressure on the on all the investors to to start selling. Westpac have said uh, five or more, get out. You got five or more properties in your portfolio. We don't want to know you. Um, second tier bankers. Uh, banks have uh, been my colleagues in the in the finance industry have been telling me they've they've been told uh, start talking to your clients that have got two or more not yep. five but two or more yep. with the second tier banks uh, private lenders or um, uh, the you know, the private funding group they've said anything anything that um, uh, has an incline of getting anywhere close ninety percent LVR we don't want to know you. And that's commercial for commercial property because that's why they mainly go a lot of the uh, business people go to co you know, for commercial lending and so forth. Uh, they've said to them, "We don't want to know. We don't want to know them." Uh, so what's the alternative? Mm. Yeah, uh, people are running out of alternatives, aren't they? Yeah, Edwin, thank you very much for your time. Very interesting to talk to you about uh, property from the front line. You get a really very uh, clear perspective from you. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Thank you. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this post, please like it and share it and check back next time. Thanks for watching.